a night. I don't know whether I won or lost. I get some sleep soon though. Someone is gonna die. Well, some of us had a good night. How much did you end up making? What's that? I oh, yeah, no, cool. Man, what are you playing with? This. One at tonight. Might be pretty valuable. Here, what do you think? Ooh. Hey. This looks like a... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What? Spell it. Yep. Spell it. So, what are we going to do? No, I'll take it to Soren Guard tomorrow. See what he has to say. Cool. Sounds good, as long as I get some sleep. Morning, Mr. Olufsen. Morning, Jimmy. Fine day, isn't it? Yes, it is. That man is a hired killer. Doggo, sheesh. Gave me a heart attack. Are you talking about Mr. Olufsen? That's not his real name. In 1954, he trained with the Seven Nation Army Special Forces. Two years later, he was transferred to a covert operations group specialising in assassination and fermenting political instability in their enemies' regions. When the Seven Nations fell apart, he and his wife went freelance and formed one of the first organised assassination associations. She was killed by a rival cartel in 1974, and he spent the next six years hunting down and wiping out everyone who was involved. He changed his appearance and created a new identity and hasn't killed anybody since. Okay, so what do you know? At 6.45 a.m. a police car crossed a double white line while making an exit from the Makers Police Station. Of course, he needed to turn right. What else was he going to do? Obey the law? Is that what you came to tell me? Look, while I think civil disobedience concerns us all, that's not what I came to tell you. Okay, so why are you here? You should be aware of a new drug flowing in from the West. Highly addictive, highly destructive. Early word on the street is that this one's a killer. Of particular note to you is the rumoured ingredients of this drug. Its street name is E.T., if that gives you a clue. Someone is synthesizing alien DNA with powerful hallucinogenics, which is actually causing structural realignment with the brain cortex, causing not only monster trips, but psychic manifestations. Do you know who's behind it? Can't say at the moment, but if I were you, I'd keep my ears to the ground and my eyes to the skies. I have to go. Don't trust Earl's. Oh, I never do. Hello? Anyone home? Hola, friend. What brings you here this fine winter day? Uh, actually, I'm not sure it's winter. Well, each to his or her own. Oh, have postmodern off here. <laughs> postmodern. Just because I refuse to live by some societal man made definitions, you call me postmodern? Uh, I think the seasons are natural, not man made. Mm, good point. What have you got? Oh, uh, this? I won it last night. Here, what do you think? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it's a spot? Oh yeah, though I'm not familiar with this. This is something, this is... Well, I don't know what it is, but this is really something. Have you shown Charlie yet? No, not yet. Uh, I thought I'd check with you, see what it is, what we think it is. We'll give him a call later. You won this? Yeah. I wonder where it came from. Yeah, look, I've got to um, take a friend to the bus terminal. Do you mind if I hold on to this for a bit? I'd like to see if I can work out a bit more about it. Sure, no worries. I'll talk to you later. Okay, cool. Adios. Adios, amigos. You have ascertained that this is where it is? No, but we are sure that this is where it left from. She is the most likely candidate. And you have ascertained her reasons for taking it? 
No. We have several possibilities under review, but we are sure that she isn't working for any forces opposing us. It would seem her reasons are more personal. Perhaps avarice is the reason in this slip of judgment, but we also mustn't overlook plain human stupidity. No, you're right. We mustn't overlook that. Not in any of our areas. I trust the matter will be dealt with and dealt with quickly. It has already begun. Where did you say you got this? Just won it last night in a bocce game. Where were you? Do you know who you won it off? Oh, it's just at the usual spot, the palace. I'm not sure who she was I won it off, but I guess I'm going to find out. Is that important? What we've got here is fifth generation equipment. Do you know how important fifth generation is? Do you know how rare? I mean, I've never ever seen any fifth generation before. Most of what we've got is second generation, maybe some third. We sure as heck haven't seen any fourth generation, let alone fifth. I mean, some people are even questioning whether there is any fifth. I mean, this is huge. I can't even begin to contemplate the ramifications of this. And you won it in the bocce game? I mean, you know, second and third generation proves their existence, right? But it's old, man, you know, really old. But this, this is current. I mean, right now current. This proves that they didn't just uh, visit a long time ago. This could be the link to right here, right now. And we've got it. We've got it. When did you say you were meeting Charlie? Oh, uh, he'll uh, get in tomorrow. It'll take him that long to get here. Okay, cool. Uh, could I hold on to it a bit longer? Could you pick it up tomorrow? Tomorrow... Yeah, look, that'll be fine. I'll swing by sometime around 9 before I meet Charlie. Cool with you? Excellent. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Hello! Anyone home? Does it look like anyone's home? No. No, I guess not. Man, what a mess. I really didn't number here, whoever they were. It's not the only thing we have to worry about. One is, did they find what they were looking for and is it tied in with us? And the other? Did they get Siren Guard? And if not, where is he?
What are you doing here? You got to get me to Jimmy. You got to get me to him now. Well, aren't you meant to be meeting him now? Isn't he at your place? Yes, yes, that was the plan. But this morning some guys came around. I don't know who. They, they trashed my place. Uh, I got away before they could get me, but uh, I don't know. They trashed my place. I've been on the run ever since. I don't know if I lost them. I keep seeing them around the place. I, you got to get me to Jimmy. All right, all right, calm down. We'll see what we can do. Um, wh who were they? What did they want? Uh, I don't know what they wanted. I, I, but if you want to know what they look like, that's them over there. <gasps> Run! Very serious. If they got here ahead of me, then our security's been compromised. When did you say you last saw him? Uh, yesterday, and I've had no contact since then. Uh, who is it? Do you know? No, I can't be sure. Things are getting complicated in the East. Emil the Apostate's gathering forces around him. His views are gaining a wider acceptance in the Council, and I fear it won't be long until this division is irreparable. But pff, we can't even be sure it's him anyway. It could be outside forces who want what we've got for their own ends. We need more proof. And Isidor, what if he, where would he have us go? He's losing his grip. He spends too much time trying to find a compromise with those who would lead us to our doom. But he's wasting his time. They stall him with their talk, and all the time they're consolidating their forces. I fear before too long, our list of enemies will have a new name added to it. Ring, 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 ring. It's Johnny, speak to me. Johnny, it's me. You've got to warn Jimmy, we found Sorengard and we're being chased. Who is it? Do you know who's chasing you? Oh, uh, I don't know. They're easy to spot though. They're um, wearing black cloaks and you can't see their faces. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Go to my place. I'll go get Jimmy and we'll meet up there, see if we can work out what's going on. Okay, I'm on my way. I really fear that, I really do. I just got a call from Brad. He's with Sorengard. They're being chased. And chased? By who? I don't know, just some guys in cloaks and hoods. I don't know who they are. What did the spite? Did he say anything of the spite? No, he didn't. But we can find out. Come on, let's get going. There's one of them. Go now! Split up! I'll take Charlie. Meet me in my house. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I was able to lose them easily enough. What about you guys? You all okay? Yeah, mostly. Um, we took a bit of a tumble and Guinevere's got a pretty nasty cut, but we're okay. Does anybody have any theories as to who we're dealing with here? We got a pretty good look at them. I didn't know them. Uh, their faces, I don't know. They looked weird. Weird? Weird in what way? They didn't look human. Sorengard, you got any ideas? I don't know. This, this is way beyond anything we've dealt with before. I mean, it's escalated beyond. First the fifth generation equipment, uh, last night the geckos were talking, and now if this is visitors we're dealing with. If this is the others, things could get very serious very fast. Do you have it? Do you have the spell out? Yes, I have it. Have you got it now? Can I see it? Sure. Amazing. So, what happened to you two? Nothing much. We ran into one. If you cry, I can't give you your milk.
freak. Why aren't you married? Beat this nut out of me. This is the key. This could explain the appearance of the others, if that's who they were. Yes, we need to establish who we're up against. We need to find out where this came from. Can you do that, Jimmy? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I've got to get Guinevere back home. Where will you be later? Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, John, go with them, then come back here. I'll take Charlie with me, and we'll um, call here later to say where we are. Sound cool? Yeah, sounds like a plan. What am I meant to be doing? I've got some plans for you. So where are you going? To go see an old acquaintance. Hey Sheldon. Hey Jimmy. How's it going? Hey, pretty good. How's yourself? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. What brings you down to Dogtown this day? Oh, just showing my cousin around. This is Charlie, Sheldon, Sheldon, this is Charlie. Hey, how's it? Play it like it lays, my man. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, cool. So, hey, you seen uh, Brad or uh, Johnny around? My phone's hacked up. I haven't been able to call them all day. <laughs> nah, nah, but I can keep an ear out for you. Cool. So, you got much action lined up for the night? Oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all adding up to not much at all. Uh, what about yourself? Nah, too early to say. Uh, well, I'm sure my cousin a good time, but you know, I don't want to take him to the cleaners. Ah, so you play, my man? Don't mind a game every now and then. Uh, don't get excited. If we're going to play one, we're going to play an easy mark. Like that uh, girl I played at the palace the other night. Uh, you know her. I saw you talking to her at the bar, tall blonde girl. Ah, you mean Tony? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, so what's her story? Ah, she's got no story. No, she didn't have any game either from what I saw. Tell you what, if she wants to play, she's the one for my cousin Charlie here. Kind of a fair contest, you know what I mean? Yeah, I could arrange that. What do you say, Charlie? You want to go once around the Maypole, see where you end up? I'm game. And what do you say, Shell? You want to hook us up with your girl Tony? Maybe cut yourself a little slice of the pie? I'm down. So you got a number? Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. Look, uh, you give it to me. I'll try organise with her. You still on the same number? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a call when, uh, with the where and the when, if it's organised. Cool. Alright, cool. So, um, I'm really sorry about what, what is happened. this? What is this buzzing sound in my ear? If you were smart, you would shut up before I swat you like the little fly that you are. But you are not smart, eh? A smart man would not have put my only daughter in jeopardy. So you must be stupid. Otherwise, you would not have done so. And I do not let my daughter go out with stupid people. You are lucky I do not have my guards beat you over, teach you a lesson. I'm really sorry, that wasn't my intention. You will not see my daughter again. You are lucky I do not cause you considerable pain. Now go. Hey, man, it wasn't his fault. Oh, so he speaks. You would do well to keep your nose out of this business. I have my eye on you, and you do not want to be under the gaze of the squire. Please, if you just listen. Get out! I do not want to hear your excuses and take your dog with you. I will not waste my time on you again. Essay soir sign guard. Sit, essay soir contact, essay soir pool. Oh, yeah, she, sha, sha. I've been tracking the flow downstream of a certain narcotic. Most of my leads have ended in dead ends, but that path has led me to you. Now I'm hoping you can help me get to the next step. 
what I need from you is a name. Where else do you get it? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. You must be Jimmy. I remember you from the other night. Yep, that's right. This is Charlie. Uh, we just wanted to ask you some questions about something on one of you the other night. I thought this was about a game for tonight. Oh, we can do that later. The other night, do you remember what you lost? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Where did you get it? It's just one of those things you pick up, you know? And then I lost it. Easy come, easy go. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. Yep, it's kind of like I just... I picked this up. And, um, and then I lost it! I just freaked out because I couldn't find out what I wanted to know! Hey, come on, settle down! Before I lose it, I'm gonna give you a second chance. I'm gonna ask you one more time, where did you get it? Alright, I know a guy. Trades in obscure objects. Things that aren't really on the open market. That's who I got it up. If you want to know anything more, you have to go see him. So just say so I wanted to see this guy, where would I be going? Place changes, but I can give you the next one. It's for tonight. Sounds good. Why don't you do that? So this is it. He'll be there tonight. Yes. Just look for that symbol. That's him. Well, thanks, Tony. You've been very helpful. Well, maybe I'll see you around the games again sometime. So what? We're not gonna play. We just did. You lost. <laughs> You did an excellent job. We're very proud of you. So that's it then, it was square? Well, you could say that, but then you'd be wrong. Ring, 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 ring. Yes? It's done. The trap's been set. And the leak? It's been plugged. Excellent. Continue on to the next phase. We'll arrange a reception for our Curious friends. Yes, get me security. Johnny here, speak to me. Hey Johnny, it's me. How are things there? Things are fine here. Brad, on the other hand, well, things aren't so cool there. Why? What happened? Things did not go well with the squire. Brad's gone home, have a shower, clean up, relax a little. He'll be come round later. But I'll give him a call before then, see how it's going. Oh, that's no good. Oh, listen though, um, we've got some pretty good uh, info here. Um, so. 
Hopefully we'll track it down and have a concrete lead soon. Has, um, has Sorengard called? Nah, haven't heard from him. Okay, here's what I want you to do then. Um, call Brad and uh, get him to come over to your place. And um, I'll call there when I uh, know what's happening here. Yeah, sure. Talk to you later. Hello? Are we involved with drugs? What? Are we involved with drugs? Are we dealing drugs? Oh, of course not, man. The stone population isn't an active population. The government has covert policies of keeping youth docile by ineffective drug policy, while even supporting drug cartels in political hotbeds. We're pretty much against drugs. So what would Charlie's name be doing on a list the Squire has of drug traffickers? What would the name of one of the leaders of the resistance be doing on a list like that? Uh, I don't know. Have you told Jimmy? No, I just spoke to him a minute ago. He said he and Charlie were chasing a pretty solid lead. Okay, I'll come straight over. I don't want to miss this. Man, I think this is a bust. I don't think he's gonna show. What's that? I don't think he's gonna show. I think this is a no go. He'll show, he'll show.
I don't know man, it just doesn't seem worth it anymore, you know. Man, do all this searching, you do all this running around, you just end up chasing your own tail, and for what? You know, there's, there's too many parties, there's too many factions, something's got to give. So what are you saying? <laughs> you want to go home? No, no I am home. I think it's time you went home. See, there's nothing you can say to me with any certainty. Every fact you parade in front of me is only a probability, a percentage of certainty. And I'm just getting sick of it. And uh, I'm rejecting reason. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about, Jimmy? It's just meant to be a simple exercise, you know? It's, it's just meant to be having some fun. But now things are just too complicated and I'm sick of it. Uh, I'm rejecting the reason and embracing the chaos. Yeah, I'm embracing the chaos. What are you talking about? Uh, that's just it. I'm taking it out of that frame of reference. It doesn't matter, it never mattered. I'm embracing chaos. I'm rejecting reason and I'm embracing chaos. Okay, whatever. Why'd you do it, man? Why'd you do it? You've allowed yourself to be compromised. You started the hole by what you've done. So you know. Yeah, I know. I only just found out that I know. I guess it's been building for a while and it's just crystallised it for me. Yeah. No more factions. No more answering to faceless committees. It's just me and my friends now, and we're answering to ourselves. So you're rejecting everything, all that hard work? No, I think the core's the same. Uh, the truth shall set you free, you know? So we're still searching for truth, but we're rejecting your reason. You know what I think the truth is? You know what I think that is? I think it's love. I think that's the core of the universe. I think that's the prime motivation, the first cause. But you can't see it. So we're keeping the spot, Charlie. We're keeping the spot. And we're asking you to leave our city. There's nothing for you, here for you now. Nothing here for you now, Charlie. So take your drugs, get out of our city. Good luck in your search for the truth. <laughs> okay, Jimmy, okay, Jimmy. You got it all figured out. You know the answer to everything. But. What if I told you? What if I told you? You don't know spit! You think you know, but you know nothing! All your talk of love it means nothing to, to me. Nothing to the world I live in, the real world. But okay, whatever. But before you go, have you considered this? Trails amigo. See you on the flip side.
Doing a close up on the grill. Sono Dante, fingevo di dormire, perché vuoi con te sola restare, ho tante cose che ti voglio dire. Sola, ma grande come il mare, come il mare, profonda ed infinita, sia mio amore e tutta la mia. Yeah.